Hello and welcome to your daily devotion for Thursday, January 7th. Our reading this morning is rather short. It comes to us from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, the 10th chapter, the 14th verse and the 14th verse only. Therefore, my dear friends, flee from idolatry. So, with the confirmation students, I often do an exercise when we're looking at the Ten Commandments, where I give them a list of the Ten Commandments, and I ask them to rank those commandments in order, from the easiest to keep to the hardest to keep. And kids being kids, they come up with their own creative answers. I always go do the same exercise and give them my list, and I have to tell you, my list and their list are never the same. Generally speaking, they will tell you that the hardest of all commandments to keep is you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. The reason they say this is because they are teenagers and they want me to know that they know some swear words. But to me, that's the easiest of all commandments to keep. Because we are, believe it or not, in control of our own mouths. Now that doesn't mean that I or anyone else really do this perfectly. I'm not proud of everything I say when my thumb hits it, gets hit by a hammer, after all. But I do believe that generally we can control what we say. I always say that the hardest commandment to keep is the very first one. You shall have no other gods before me. And to explain why I feel that way, I bring in Martin Luther's small catechism, in which he explained the first commandment, you shall have no other gods before me, by saying it means that we are to fear, love, and trust God above anything else. Anything else is not a qualified statement. When he says anything else, he means anything else. And trusting God above anything else is really, really hard. In the same way in the modern world, we make idols out of celebrities, actors, athletes, entertainers, musicians, um, politicians, business leaders, etc., and we ascribe to them almost godlike qualities. We listen to their pronouncements on things they know little about. And we take their opinions to be more important than the opinions of those who've actually studied things. This isn't good. This isn't right. And it isn't something that Christians ought to be engaged in. When we look to people for facts and guidance outside of their real areas of expertise, we are in some way engaging in idolatry. Because the best advice we'll ever get for living our daily life, we got from God. We don't need to turn to other sources. A Christian needs no king other than Jesus. A Christian needs no hero other than Jesus. He is enough and he is sufficient. Many times when we elevate human beings to a near godlike status and believe that they can do no wrong. We quickly find that they can do wrong, but because we don't want to believe that they could do wrong, we shut off that part of our brain and say, well, no, they actually didn't do wrong, and here's why. Listen to me. Idolatry makes a clown out of everyone that practices it. Don't be a clown. Worship only God. Look to him for your guidance. And let the people of this world be the fallible human beings they were created to be. Let us pray. God, you alone are enough. We need to look to no one else or no thing else for meaning and guidance in this world. You have raised up among us experts on a great many things. But we sometimes assume that a person who is wise or talented in one area is wise or talented in all areas. And this causes trouble. May we keep you and only you at the center of our lives. May we learn to look to those who are gifted in a particular area for guidance or information in that area. And may we understand that just because somebody talks a lot doesn't mean that they have wisdom to impart. Help us get through this continuing ongoing pandemic. Help us find hope in every situation. And we thank you for being gracious and merciful to us under all circumstances. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you again soon.